Hey, what's up everybody? This is Heath from the Southern Fried Rod Shop and we're doing a final video on my 2014 cancer awareness build. Uh, had a, a lot of trouble with it as far as uh, the little man getting a hold of it. <laughs> uh, I'll go ahead and show you the car and I'll talk about what happened. Uh, there it is, the 41 Willis that's done in the... Uh, Testers one coat lacquer electric pink. I know a few guys did their cars with that. The uh, testers one coats are real good paints. So uh, I'd already built a car for my daughter before in that color, and I knew that it uh, worked out pretty good. As far as the troubles I had with it, I was working on this car one day uh, a week or so ago, and it was just you know the frame, and I had the wheels on and everything, I was putting the motor in. And uh, my wife closed at work that night, so I had to cook supper. And uh, usually when I stop building for the night, I'll put everything, you know, back on the table so little man can't reach anything. But I was working on it, lost track of time. I had to go in there and uh, get dinner going. I always, for sure, make sure that my knives and everything are put up. But uh, did all that and forgot to move the car back on the table and uh he got in here and grabbed it and uh <laughs> warped the chassis up and broke every single wheel off of it and uh ripped the motor completely apart so i've had to piece her back together uh it was my fault i left it too close to the edge of the table and he got a hold of it so nobody's fault but mine uh he just likes cars he calls them cool cars so that wasn't the only issues I had with it uh, foiling was another issue uh, most of you guys know I use aluminum foil uh, my hood and my door section didn't have a bit of trouble with it laid down smooth and and uh, cut like normal but this back area here if you can probably pick it up on the the video right in this area there's not a real deep ridge so when you're running your knife across it <clears throat> I had the continuous problem of the knife wanting to slip and come up over it uh, where it was not supposed to cut uh, I did this side and that side combined about seven different times trying to get it right uh, got to the point where I just kept on and kept on having the same effect over and over again so I left it as best as I could uh, I didn't want to gouge a bunch of marks in the paint and mess it up even worse. Maybe if I would have had bare metal foil, it would have turned out better. I'm not for sure. I've never used it. Uh, the foils always worked for me in the past, but it just gave me a lot of trouble right there this time. I wish it didn't with it being the, the special build. But I did have quite a few issues, and... Uh, I'm not 100% happy with the way it turned out, but uh, I guess for what it's been through, it doesn't look too awful bad. Uh, got my ribbon put on the back there. Got the tail lights put in uh, yesterday. My door handles. Uh, you know, I had to work with that chassis to get it <laughs> to even fit up in there and get my wheels and tires back on best I could. Uh, those are the rims and tires from the 65 uh, Chevrolet Stepside truck. Uh, you guys know I started out with the gasser and uh, covered that up on the hood where the uh, hood scoop was at. I didn't want to go the gasser route. Uh, I don't have anything against gassers. I just uh, wanted this one to be a coupe. So it was the first time I'd done that, and uh, I guess for a beginner, it didn't turn out too bad. Uh, there's the front of the car. Just kind of, you know, tried to go clean and neat with it. Uh, I had never built this car before, so uh, a <laughs> rookie mistake. I didn't realize that the trim around the window was actually on the window itself and I should have painted that I should have masked it and painted it before I put the windshield in did not do that uh, I messed up and put the windshield in 
and then realized that that should have been painted. So luckily a few days ago, I found me a new cut-in brush at Hobby Lobby and I used a coupon on it and I didn't give but a buck or two for it. Uh, I don't even know if that's considered a name brand. I couldn't even tell you what it says on the brush there. Something touch and it's the angular. But uh, for you guys that are, you know, hadn't been around for a long time, uh, like me, and you're looking for a good brush to cut in good lines, this one's worked out pretty well for me so far. You can see that angular tip there. I really like that. Uh, I was ballsy enough to go in here and cut that in just freehand. Uh, and it's not the best, but uh, it looks better than just leaving it without the trim, I think. Uh, I get picky with stuff like that. I just looked at it. Once I found it, I just looked at it and looked at it. And uh, I just wasn't going to be happy till I went back and, uh, <laughs> and tried to do it. But that's the car, guys. Uh, Cliff did a good thing putting this group build on to bring awareness to... Uh, horrible thing the cancer you know there's so many different types and people have to suffer from day to day and then you know the people the caregivers that take care of those folks I don't think they get enough credit for what they do uh, very bad thing wish people didn't have to deal with it I feel sorry for everybody who's ever lost a family member with any type of cancer and uh, it's a horrible horrible thing but uh, hopefully what we're doing here will help bring awareness and uh, maybe one day they'll find some cures for this stuff. Uh, we can just keep on hoping. But uh, that's all I got for right now, fellas. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll put up a video of my next project and uh, let you guys know what I'm going to be working on. But until then, this is Heath from the Southern Fried Rod Shop with the 2014 Cancer Awareness Build. And we'll talk to you guys soon.